Hello everyone, it's John back with another podcast and um, I wanted to talk today about how to improve your energy levels. This for some of us cannot be remedied by having a, a strong cup of coffee or chocolate bar. To put it in a way that I think is the most helpful. You need to be at a space uh, in a space in your life where when you go to sleep, you're going to sleep soundly. You're going to sleep fully and you're going to sleep deeply. That means that you're going to go through a sleep cycle um, of four sets of 75 minutes over a six or seven hour period. For some of you, you're going to need more hours to sleep, for some of you slightly less, but you definitely need to have those cycles because when you have them, it means that you're more likely to wake up refreshed, even though the quality of your sleep was and, and the depth of it was so much deeper. You know, so to come up is, is um, it's almost like being born again. So that's why if you think about it, that there is a new day, and we just we're quite blasé about it, aren't we? We say oh, tomorrow's another day, but the Earth needs to have certain energies running in order for that to happen, for the sun to rise again. You know, and all those elements in the, the universe, you know, the sun rev revolving around all these other planets, the Earth moving around the Sun. Um, it requires an incredible amount of energy. So there's two primary things that you can do to manage your energy levels. One is obviously how you personally manage them. These are things like what you eat, what you drink, what you don't eat and what you don't drink, you know, those things that you should avoid. And then the second part of that energy is how you use the energy that you've got. Because even if you eat really well, but you're interacting with people who are draining your energy, the good energy that you've worked so hard to cultivate, you know, through healthy eating, eating practices, through meditation, through focusing on things that are important to you, like your exercise or your work goals or, um, you know, your, your career focus, uh, your children, you know, wh whatever it might be. That takes a lot of energy. So if you're dealing with people who are fighting with you, arguing with you, making it difficult for you, and it's not to say that they can't do this on occasion, even the people you love and are closest to in your life, of course they can do it. Um, but if you're exposed to that on a regular basis, then your energy levels are going to drop in a way that's potentially more catastrophic than having even your blood pressure drop. Why? Because if you're aware that your blood pressure is, is dropping, uh, you might feel faint or whatever, and you'll go to bed or lie down until those um, levels reset and normalize themselves. And if they're not, then you'd go to hospital. Something like that. But that can happen for all sorts of reasons, and it and it's quite sporadic when it happens. But people that you're exposed to on a regular basis, if they're not fighting for you, instead of with you, they're not your cheerleaders. They're not the ones that are going to take you forward. Sometimes they'll throw a curveball your way and you'll be irritated and annoyed with them. But in your heart and mind, you'll know that they're right and that you do need to deal with something that they're presenting to you as distasteful as it might sound at the time. We need to take our ego out of the equation sometimes because that that's a block on our energy too. So here's some simple things that you can do today to, to fix that. Drink more water. I, I can't uh, impress on you enough this one because your system requires hydration. 
not overhydration, not dehydration, it just requires hydration. And water is the best way to do that. And I don't mean a glass of water, I mean several glasses of water throughout the day. Because you will be expending energy in all sorts of ways. Even when you're sitting down, even when you're lying down, even when you're sleeping, you are using up energy. So how about using stuff that's good? And, and water is obviously essential to us humans, so we, we better down quite a lot of that. And I would recommend, I mean, to give you an example, I have two or three pints of water a day, um, which I don't think is extreme. Um, that's just under half of the blood pint quantity in, in my body. So I'm not flooding my body with water. I'm having um, a healthy water uh, quantity that boosts the power of the blood that's traveling around the system. Um, the second thing that you can do is eat um, food that has a hell of a lot of energy levels in it. You're not just going to get it from banana. It's going to be from bananas, from nuts, from um, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, um, other elements that are going to help work around your system like celery, like beetroot, and beetroot juice, uh, kale, spinach. Um, all of these things are really great for your system. And I would argue against juicing everything. I think it's okay on occasion, but I think it's actually quite an assault on your stomach. Um, if you're dropping down all this food that's now in the, the liquidized form into your system. I think you'll feel fill, uh, fuller for longer if you eat the uh, items um, as they are brought to you. But I'm not saying don't juice, I'm just saying I personally don't juice on a regular basis. I have tried it in the past and I just prefer to eat the food as it is. But everyone's got their own time constraints and will have to make their um, decision accordingly. Um, this is going to be a common problem, but, and it might be an unpopular one, but switch off your devices at night. The phone, if it must be left on, put it in another room or another part of the house. But I, I do turn the phone off. I also disconnect the landline, actually, um, because most of the calls I'll get on there will not be from people I know. Most of the people who contact me will do it uh, on a mobile phone. Um, Nothing wrong with looking at a few things on your iPad or computer before you sleep, but really there should be a good hour or so before you look at those screens, because even if you get to sleep and you get to sleep quickly, it's going to be a poor quality of sleep. So don't do that to yourself. Switch off your devices. I don't even think you should leave them there because it will still be using a Wi-Fi signal, and then you'll have to go through changing the settings of the Wi-Fi and disabling them. So the simplest thing to do, I feel, is turn them off. Then it's just you and your bed and your room. And if you, you live on your own, then you should drop off quite nicely. If you, you're with a partner, then make sure that partner is understanding your sleep pattern um, and try and get in sync with that and get in harmony with that so you, you can sleep together and fall asleep together, which is a, which is a beautiful thing. Um, or stay awake together and talk until you feel so good and you've created a natural energy between you uh, that means that either you you progress to an intimate um, uh, stage before you sleep, or you'll just you know fall asleep together, which is which is great and very good for your energy levels. Um, if it's a cold part of the year and you're you're sleeping next to your your loved one, then you're going to keep each other warm with, with the the body uh, close to each other, and you're going to have a quality sleep. <laughs> Your eyes are going to feel brighter, your muscular pains, if you had them, are going to be practically non-existent. You're going to literally, if not jump out of the bed, you will feel energized to get up and, and do what you want to do um, and need to do uh, the next morning. Um, get outside in nature. Uh, even if it's for 15 minutes, get outside, walk uh, to where there are trees and plants, even if that's not possible, put a plant in your house, you know, have 
some of nature in your home environment. It's a beautiful thing that will raise your mood, that will increase your energy levels naturally. So those are a few things that you can work on and um, obviously it's very conducive to being effective in martial arts because low energy leads to defeat. So don't be one of those people. So I wish you all well. I'll see you uh, on the next podcast and have a great day.